I was on my way deep into the jungle areas of a small Latin American country at the request of a U.S. government agency. For a professional diver, this was going a long way away from water. But just the same, water was my objective. A pool of water, a sacred pool, filled with ancient terrors and strange dangers, and holding secrets that had been undisturbed for centuries. I was looking for the newly discovered cenote of Itzama. A cenote is an ancient pool used as a ceremonial center more than a thousand years ago by the Mayas and their conquerors, the Toltecs. It was the Toltecs who had introduced the savage custom of human sacrifice and had converted the pool into a place of death worship. I had been warned that it might be guarded. Others had also learned of the tremendous secret locked within this part of the jungle. They might be there ahead of me. Suddenly the pool and the ruins of the temple were in front of me. I had come upon them sooner than I expected. I was excited and careless. My eyes were on the pool. They should have been elsewhere. Hold it right there. Drop that machete. Move faster. That's far enough. Who are you? My name is Mike Nelson. You don't belong here. I'm an amateur archaeologist. I uh, came here to see that pool. All right, you've seen it. Get going. I know it doesn't make sense to argue with that gun, but uh, well, it seems a shame I came this far. And uh, well, uh, couldn't I just take a closer look at those ruins, huh? All right. Boy, oh boy, what a sight. I had to go and leave my camera back in my Jeep. Tough. How old would you say these uh, ruins are, huh? Come on, get moving. Now I control the cards, and I was ready to do the wheeling and the dealing. Keep going. Uh, just arrived, huh? You here alone? Neither of us is here alone. There are Indians in these jungles. All right, get down, huh? On your stomach. Put your hands above your head. Mariana. Mariana. Five six eight dash zero three. Richter one 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 eight. I should have known. Hi. Hi. Can you uh, put all that together? That fancy code? No. Mariana Richter, my secretary in Washington, and a social security number. Uh. 
I'm Conrad Barnes. Yeah, they didn't tell me your name. They didn't tell me yours either. I'm sorry about uh, poking the gun at you, but this isn't where you were supposed to meet me, you know. And you weren't due for two more days. Yeah, I know, I know. They uh, kind of changed the signals on us. They decided to get me here as fast as they possibly could. It seems like the wrong people have already found what's in that pool. How much do you know about it, Mike? You know what you're here for? No. Well, you're supposed to give me all that. It's an urn. It's shaped exactly like this, only it's about two feet high. And it's filled with an oil-like substance called Tlalcatl. Tlalcatl? What's that? That's a funny word. It's a very ancient name for a very ancient drug. Once a year, a sealed urn filled with Tlalcatl was offered to Itzama. Itzama? Who's that? The Mayan Lord of the Heavens. And then the high priest would toss this urn into the pool. Now, we're gambling that just one of these urns is still lying down in there, intact after all these centuries. If we could bring one up full, It'd be worth any effort we could make or any risk we might take. I mean, it's as important as all that, this Talal cable? It is. And we're wasting time. What about your gear? I left it in my Jeep. I'll go get it. Uh, you want some help? Ah, uh, you better stay here. You, uh, want to take this with you? I'd rather use this if you don't mind. Sure. You keep it. I'll try to hang on to it a little better than last time. See that you do. You dive okay, huh? I was the best man available. Well, uh, I better make the first dive alone anyway. Look, Mike, it may sound silly, but there's a legend about this pool. Oh? Uh, there used to be a sacred alligator in there. They fed him human sacrifices. Oh, yeah? Well, that was a long, long time ago. Well, the Indians think that the sacred alligator is still alive. Who knows? Maybe his great-great-grandson is. Yeah. Well, I uh, knocked you into that pool. You came out whole, didn't you? Well, just a second. This is no ordinary arrow, Mike. It's the arrow of the feathered serpent. Does that mean something? An arrow like this always went through the jungle to announce the ceremony of sacrifice. Uh, it's probably just somebody trying to spook us. You can call it that, spooking. But there are still people here who believe in it. And this arrow is no imitation. It could be 500 years old. Well, I'm still going down that pool. Looks like you got yourself a job as sentry. While Barnes kept watch, I got set for the first dive. Very little was known about what was actually below the surface. One mile legend said that the pool was bottomless. That I would find out for myself. If it was impossibly deep, my mission would be a failure. If not, I would have a good chance. If other hazards didn't interfere. the bottom all right, but it slanted away into the entrance of a steep cave. There was no question anymore about whether the presence of an alligator was just an ancient legend. It was real all right. Very real. I realized that I would need Barnes in the water with me if I attempted another dive. And I was not looking forward to what might happen next. Now, 
I was thinking only of the danger in the water. I had forgotten the other hazards. But they didn't stay forgotten long. from behind. You must have come up just in time. Uh, this job is more of a risk than I bargained for. You think it's worth it, this stuff? This, uh, what'd you call it, the Talal Ketel? It's worth it. Uh, maybe to you fellas in intelligence, but not to me. That's because you weren't told what it's for. What is it for? Talal Ketel is, is an ancient drug, Mike, with amazing powers. What, what penicillin is to sick bodies, Tlalcatl could be to sick minds. Important? Mm, yeah. With just one dive, Mike, you could be going back whole centuries. You bring up just one urn filled with Tlalcatl, and our medical scientists can analyze the oil and synthesize it and learn from it, and take a whole new step forward that could be the biggest medical news in a generation. Why the big mystery if it's as useful as all that? If the wrong people get it first, it could be used the wrong way to enslave men instead of help them. Well, it's uh, just a medicine, isn't it? It's much more than that. It directly affects the metabolism of the mind. It makes it abnormally suggestible. You talk about brainwashing? This drug, if the wrong people get it first, could do it like that. Whole populations. Ah. That's why I was willing to go into that pool. Okay. You're gonna get your chance, as soon as you get rested up. I'll go check over your gear. When we got below, I planned to leave the spear gun with Barnes. He would take up a vigil at the mouth of the cave to make sure that the alligator couldn't cut me off and trap me while I was inside. I had had some experience with alligators before, and I had given Barnes a number of tips. By using them, he could discourage the alligator, unless it was really hungry. In that case, with the spear gun, at least his chances would be better than mine. When I looked around again, I saw him in trouble. started him back toward the surface. Fortunately, we hadn't attracted the alligator yet. wrong with your regulator? I'm afraid it's you. Sorry, Mike. I thought you said you could dive. I can a little bit. Yeah, very little. I'll do better next time. Uh, you got to be checked out before you go down again. There's certainly no time to do it now. Okay. You're the boss. I'll stay here and play sentry.
You keep me covered now. The alligator was going to attack. I hoped that it would attack before I got into the cave. The pool was very large and I would have room to maneuver and fight back. And in the narrow cave, I wouldn't have a chance. I had expected to make a long and difficult search, working my way deeper and deeper into the tunnel. Only a short time had gone by, and I could hardly believe my eyes. Or oh, my good luck. This was a ceremonial urn, all right, intact. I just emerged from the lower cave into the main pool. For a moment, it looked as though the way was clear. But I wasn't to be that lucky. I knew what I had to do. I would have a better chance by trying to exhaust it than by trying to kill it. I would try to seize its tail. On land, the tail is deadly. One blow can kill a man. But in water, the tail doesn't have the same leverage. I had to get at its jaws. The muscles that snap an alligator's jaws shut are like steel, but the ones that open its jaws are very weak. If I could just hold its jaws closed, I'd have my battle won. The danger was over. Sooner or later, the rope would part. But by that time, I'd be long gone. I turned back to retrieve the urn. It was all clear now.
Lines? Had visitors again, Mike. Got something to show you. You found it. You really found it. That's it, Mike. There's no doubt about it. That's heavy. it. It's heavy, too. Must be full. Like to know where it's going? Well, somewhere we'll do a lot of good, I hope. The World Health Organization of the United Nations. If we're going to get it to them, let's get it to them in a hurry. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll take that now. Who are you? I believe you've been referring to those I represent as the wrong people. To the right. Back from the gun, both of you. You! Over by the tent. Stand back. Well back! I would like your little present gift wrapped. I'm sure that none of us would like to see it broken. Get those blankets. I want it wrapped for travel. The pillow, too. Oh, and I'll take back my ceremonial arrow, too. It was borrowed from a very rare collection. <laughs> No, you were not bothered by the jungle Indians. Not really. Modestly, that was my little work. But you would not be warned. Therefore, what happens must happen. The pillow first. All around it. That's right. Lots of padding. Now the blanket. Now tie it with that cord. Very nice, Mr. Barnes. Yes, I think we are the right people to possess the secret of clock cladle. For us, it will be serving many uses. Therefore, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Barnes. And to you, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> Your boss. Nice going. Just uh, making up for the time you took the gun away from me. All right, I'll take care of them. You take care of that uh, Talal Kato. Get up. We're going to see that that gets to the right people. Now, go on over there, you two. Hi there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is certainly a lot of fun, and it's full of adventure. See some more of it again next week, huh? When there'll be another excursion into that fabulous underwater world of Sea Hunt. <laughs>